It is time for another lawmakers flashback to celebrate our 40th season. Well, tonight, the legislative fiscal officer, Carrie Bond, is indicted on corruption charges related to the 1984 Capitol building renovation. Bond was accused of accepting kickbacks from a contractor in exchange for approving any invoices that came before the Legislative Services Committee. Lawmakers 84 anchor Richard Warner has that story. Today, the Fulton County Grand Jury indicted State Legislative Fiscal Officer Kerry Bond, Roberts Engineering as well, and three employees of the companies that are involved with renovation of the State Capitol building. Now, this was a felony indictment that charges them with conspiracy to defraud the state. Now, according to the indictment, Bond is accused of conspiring with the GMC remodeling contractors. They would allegedly bill Bond a house at cost, and in return, Bond would approve all invoices submitted to the Legislative Fiscal Office. If uh, Mr. Bond has done these things, and of course all of us are terribly hurt by that, but it's a matter that addresses itself up to the courts, and I'm assuming Mr. Bond will have competent attorneys, and I'm sure the matter will be fully litigated, and we will abide the results of the court. During the lawmaker's phone segment, one caller wanted to know how the state auditor could have missed the signs of corruption. Okay, go ahead. Question for Mr. Barnes, please. Okay, go ahead. Why do we need an audit of the auditor? Where does the auditor come from? Uh, who's he responsible to? And what's his name and so forth? Come on, Roy, give us some answers on this. <laughs> uh, the auditor is a state official uh, who is appointed official. Uh, his name is, is William Nixon, and he's been auditor for, ever since I've been in the General Assembly, which has been 10 years. Following his indictment, legislative fiscal officer Kerry Bond was convicted on corruption charges. This has been a lawmaker's flashback.